Please welcome Congressman Adam Schiff. Hello, California Democrats, and thank you to the California Democratic Party and our delegation chair, Zoe Lofgren, for inviting me to speak today. I am excited to join you as we begin our campaigns to protect the House majority, expand the Senate majority, and build on the progress that we have made for America's families. But I want to begin by acknowledging the horrors we are witnessing in Ukraine. Not since World War II have we seen such an indiscriminate and murderous campaign in Europe as the one Vladimir Putin has launched against the people of Ukraine. Terrified by the democratic aspirations of his Slavic neighbors and that the Russian people may one day demand the same for themselves, Putin has once again sought to remake the map of Europe by military force. He must not succeed. We stand with Ukraine and its people. And California will welcome the refugees of this conflict to our golden shores, just as we have before. We will do everything we can to help. It is who we are. Watching the images of an old Ukrainian man throw himself in front of a Russian tank, I have marveled at the courage of the Ukrainian people and their determination to save their democracy. And at this fateful time, we must also ask ourselves, how hard are we willing to struggle and fight to save our democracy? Because over the last five years, we have witnessed a Republican Party led by its own would-be autocrat tear down the institutions of our own democracy. And it didn't end when Donald Trump left the presidency. They are at it still, pushing the big lie about fraud in the last election to usher in a new generation of Jim Crow laws meant to disenfranchise people, and particularly people of color. We will not let them. And just as pernicious, they are determined to pass new laws to subvert our elections, so that if their candidate again loses the presidential race, this time, this time they will succeed in overturning the results. They must not succeed. The right to vote is foundational the right upon which everything else rests. But other rights are also being threatened by Republican state legislatures and governors. They're seeking to take away the right to reproductive freedom and women's health, seeking to attack our trans children and LGBTQ plus neighbors, and more. We must fight back, and we are, and once again, California is leading the way. In fact, California has the power to make or break our efforts to keep the speaker's gavel in Nancy Pelosi's hands and out of reach for an amoral human being like Kevin McCarthy. Make no mistake, should he ever become speaker, he will do whatever Trump demands, including overturning the next presidential election. From districts we can flip to districts we have to hold, California is where our efforts will make all the difference. In Southern California, we must ensure that Mike Levin holds the line in San Diego and Katie Porter in Orange County. And we can flip four GOP seats by beating Republicans Michelle Steele, Young Kim, Mike Garcia, and Ken Calvert. In the Central Valley, we can and will elect a Democrat to the newly created 13th District. And we have to hold on to Josh Harder's seat. And we need to beat David Valadeo. These are just some of the Golden State's must-have and must-hold opportunities. Now, I don't want to sugarcoat it. It won't be easy. But we are Democrats. We are used to hard fights. No one ever gave us anything. What's more, we are California Democrats, and we are used to leading the nation. It's no wonder the greatest House Speaker in U.S. history is our own Speaker Nancy Pelosi. And when we prevail again, in the House and the Senate. It will be because of California and California Democrats fanning out all over the country. California will be the difference. You will be the difference. So let's go get it done. Thank you, California Democrats.